If you're using MailChimp for your domain, securing your emails with DMARC, SPF, and DKIM is essential. In today's video, I'll guide you through the steps to set up email authentication for MailChimp. To get started with email authentication for MailChimp, you will need access to the admin portal. Once you have access to the admin portal, under your name, you can find the profile settings. Once that's loaded up, you can go to the domains where you can add and verify your own domain. So in this case, I'll be verifying my domain, DMARC test 5 by actually adding in an email address. Once that's added in, they will send me a verification email. Once that's verified, I will actually be able to start viewing my DKIM and SPF records that I would need to publish on my DNS. So I'll go ahead and send in the email request and validate the email from my email provider. Once you start the email authentication process, you can now actually provide the details that you need so that you can get started. So in my case, I will be filling this out based on who my cloud provider is. So in this case, it will be Cloudflare. Scrolling up, I can find that and other here. And then I would need to go to the DNS provider's website, which I already have opened in another tab. So I will need to create, and MailChimp has already created the DKIM records for me. So in this case, it would be K2 and K3. So I'll just copy these over to the DNS and then press the Next button. So I'll go ahead and do that now. On my DNS provider Cloudflare, I have added in the two required CNAME records as instructed by MailChimp. So once this is done, this is already saved. So I'll go ahead and save this one and head back to my MailChimp configuration so that I can continue with the next step. So in this case, I'll go to next here and it will prompt me to create a DMARC record. So although this is a very basic DMARC record, you can actually use the Power DMARC, DMARC generator tool to generate a much more in-depth record. So let's head over and generate that record and publish it to my DNS. On the Power DMARC, DMARC generator tool, I have gone ahead and populated the aggregate report email and forensic feedback email addresses. So I'll go ahead and generate the record. So now I can take this record and publish it on my DNS. Now that this has been copied in, I will now save this record so that the DMARC record will be activated for our MailChimp validation. Now that I have both my DKIM and DMARC records published on my DNS, MailChimp will do a check where it will see if the records are correctly published. And in the meantime, I can also check the status by clicking this button. So as you can see at the bottom here is that my records have not been validated yet. So as they say, keep enjoying that coffee. So once the records are validated, I'll be coming back to show you what the success screen would look like. Once your domain is authenticated with the DKIM keys now validated, you can see the success page letting you know that the uh, setup has been complete for MailChimp DKIM. Now, as previously noted, MailChimp does not support SPF. So in this case, we are now good to go start sending out DMARC compliant emails using MailChimp. And that's it. You've successfully set up the email authentication protocols for your MailChimp sending source. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to sign up with PowerDMark to take your domain security to the next level.